Virginia's Attorney General weighs in on new model policies for transgender students. The policies address how to handle things like student identification, athletics, and bathrooms. And of course, it sparked a year's worth of debate over discrimination and the rights of parents and students and whether schools must abide by them. Philip Townsend explains. Following months of debate, Virginia's top prosecutor releasing his official opinion on new transgender policies for schools. The policies went into effect in July, requiring that students be referred to using their biological sex and that they use the corresponding restroom. And if a student wants to be referred to by another name or pronoun, they need a written request from a parent. Governor Glenn Youngkin asking Attorney General Jason Miares to weigh in following intense debate over the controversial policies. Miares saying in the statement released Thursday morning, the model policies ensure that all students are treated with dignity and that parental involvement remains at the center. These policies are fully compliant with the law, and school boards across the Commonwealth should support and implement them. Echoing the governor's stance, Miares went on to say, it's not just common sense, it's the law. But some school districts have already announced they will not comply with the new policies, and a gray area exists over their enforcement. School districts are required to adopt policies that are consistent with, not necessarily identical to, those laid out by the Department of Education. LGBTQ advocates have also argued legal discrimination. Miara is saying in his opinion, the policies do comply with Title IX, the Equal Protection Clause, and the Virginia Human Rights Act. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.